Glory be to Jesus. It's still the 11th month, the month of November. I want to bring some thoughts to you from God's word. Now, Ezekiel 34 from verse 26. Ezekiel 34 verse 26 says, And I will make them and the place round about my healing blessing, and I will cause the showers to come down in a season. There shall be showers of blessing. I'd like you to know that this is the season of special blessings for you. Do you, you know something? Even in God's plan, that the best is always for the last. The 11th month, God is bringing 11th hour miracle to your life. There will be testimonies that will break out of your family, of your business, and your career as we round off this great year, 2019, in Jesus' name. So I'm trusting God for all our blessings for you, in your health, in your family, and in all you do. Number one, I'm trusting God for breakthrough for you. The spirit of breakthrough is coming upon you. Every resistance against your blessings shall be crushed in Jesus' name. The power of God is going to go ahead of you and give you breakthrough in all that you do. Everything you have labored for and you have been struggling to achieve and they are not coming through, I pray as you go this 11th month is going to come through for you in Jesus' name. Is it your business? Is it your health? Is it your finance? God is giving you mighty breakthrough in Jesus' precious name. Maybe there is a particular battle you've been fighting. I'd like you to know Jehovah is his name and he's the man of war. He's giving you breakthrough over that battle in Jesus' name. Number two, success. It will be a season of great success for you. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 declare that you will have good success. In this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night. Thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein, then thou mayest, thou will have good success. So I declare over you in the name of Jesus that great success comes your way this 11th month in Jesus' name. Everything you lay your hands upon to do will succeed. I speak against the spirit of failure in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to know you are not a failure. Maybe you you tried it in January or February or March and it seems as if it's not working for you. That doesn't mean you are a failure. This 11th month, success will come to you. Maybe you are a student or a minister of the gospel. Whatever you do, may you succeed this 11th month in Jesus' name. I'm also trusting God for favor. Daniel chapter 1 verse 9 says, And God brought Daniel into favor. I love that scripture. God brought Daniel into into favor. So in the name of Jesus, God is bringing you favor. What is favor? Favor is that thing that comes upon a man that makes whatever he does to prosper. People working for you, you just go on enjoying the blessings of God. So I command the spirit of favor rest upon you this 11th month in the name of Jesus Christ. And I also trust God for special blessings. Proverbs chapter 10, and verse 22 says, The blessings of the Lord make it rich and hath no sorrow to it. So in the name of Jesus, as you go, the blessing of the Lord will rest upon you. You will prosper in all that you put your hand to do. In Jesus' name. You know something about the blessed man? Whatever he does, turns out good. And that is you this 11th month in the name of Jesus Christ. Lastly, I'm also trusting God for fruitfulness for you. When we talk about fruitfulness, it's not just fruitfulness in the body. I'm talking about fruitfulness all around. But Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 says, God blessed them and said, be fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. So it is one covenant of God with us. One promise of God for us is that we'll be fruitful. So in the name of Jesus, I curse every hand of barrenness around your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. This 11th month, may you be fruitful all around in Jesus' precious name. But what must I do to position myself to enjoy all these blessings in the 11th month? Number one, you must be filled with praise. You know, the Bible says you should enter into his court with praise. Make sure you are grateful to God for the first month to the 11th month. Do we have to be grateful? You know, the Bible says, uh, uh, with joy, you will draw water out of the wells of salvation. Praise. When you are praiseful, you will be joyful. So when you are joyful, it connects you to the blessings that you want to receive from God. Nobody can enter into his court 
with complaining, with arguments and all that. You have to be joyful within you. You have to be grateful, thanking for what he has done. That qualifies you for what is coming ahead of you. Number two, you must give attention to the word of God. As you go through this month, instructions will be coming from God's word, from the altar, as you study the Bible, the Holy Spirit will be giving you instructions. It is instructions that bring out distinctions from us. Don't just um, read through the Bible, listen to that which the Holy Spirit wants to tell you. You know, the, the scripture says, my son, incline thy ear unto my word. So God wants you to pay attention, that's what I'm saying. Pay attention to the word of God as you go in the month of November. God is going to be giving you instructions from your teachers, from the pastors, from lecturers, from everywhere. He has positioned people around you to instruct you and I'd like you to put your mind to it so you don't miss out. And number three, you have to develop what I call action orientation. You don't just hear the word, you are a doer. That is when the blessings come. James chapter 1 verse 22 says not the hearer will be blessed but the doer of the word. It is not what you hear, it is what you do with what you hear that determines the blessing. So don't miss it. Three things you must do. You must be praiseful. Number two, you must give attention to the word. And number three, you must do the word. Rise up this week. Rise up as you're hearing me right now. Follow that your plan. Do it again. It will come to pass for you. This year is not over. It is just the 11th month. The God of the 11th hour miracle will manifest himself to you. I prophesy over you all round blessings in the name of Jesus. You will not fail. You will not falter. God's hand is upon you. Your health is coming back alive. Your finances is increasing. The supernatural hand of God is giving you breakthrough and making special doors open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you one more time. Enjoy God's blessing this 11th month in Jesus' name. For deeper insights and to aid your personal and spiritual growth, join any of our four services every Sunday, 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 10 a.m., and 11.30 a.m. at His Dayspring Multi-Joy Multi-Purpose Hall behind Honeyland School, Gate Bus Stop, Ipaja, Lagos. His Dayspring, raising holy, healthy, and wealthy people.